So this Subhana Bihar, this is one of 17 temples which is established in Navadvip Dham by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada in his time when he established the Gaudiya Math. This was one of the temples which he had established, of, but there are 17 of them in the Holy Dham. And in his time, this was a very remote area, it was really jungle. Now, developing a little bit, <laughs> you can see it's still like a like village, quiet life, many trees and wild animals. So I'm going to speak about the process which is here in Godramadweep. Yesterday we were in Antardweep, and Antardweep is where we end the Parikrama. But we go there in the first day, we went there yesterday to do the Adivas and to get permission from Sri Tripal Shiva to enter into the Holy Dham. Navadweep is in the form of eight petals of a lotus, and Antardweep is in the center of the eight petals. I speak English very slowly, so even you don't know English, you will understand. <laughs> so Antardweep is in the center. That is the process of Atmani Vedanam, full surrender. And then the eight petals around the center, they represent the other eight processes of Bhakti Yoga. What is the first process? Shravanam. And Shravanam is in Simantadweep. We didn't go there yet. <laughs> we'll go on the last day. But we should, we should actually begin at Simantadweep because Bhakti Yoga begins with hearing. But because you're also young people and so energetic, we know you're very eager for one thing. Kirtan, right. So we came immediately to Godrumadweep. And this is the process in Godrumadweep. Kirtan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us Kirtaniya. Param Vijayate. Oh, you've all done good homework. Very nice. So, we're here to do Kirtan. This is a wonderful place. We'll hear when we go to Hariyar Shetra. It said, anybody who leaves their body in Hariyar Shetra, the Lord Shiva comes there and he chants it. A special name in everyone's ear. What name will he chant? <laughs> yes, Goranga. You will chant the four syllable mantra. The four syllable mantra. Ga O Anga. Right? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Goranga. Go Hare Krishna. Goranga, Go Hare Krishna, Go Goranga. Go so we're all chanting the four syllable mantra, the Hare Krishna mantra or the Goranga mantra, no different, right? They were here in this Godrumadweep to relish the kirtan of the holy name. Sometimes people say, there are some people actually in the times of Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, there, were, there was this one Babaji and he was propagating to people, don't chant the Maha Mantra loud, should only chant in your heart. And he got so many followers also, and he made a new mantra, he said, you chant this, and it wasn't even a mantra, 
and it was offensive. It was all rasa pas. There were many mistakes in the mantra. It was not a bona fide mantra. We chant Hare Krishna mantra. It's a Vedic mantra. It's from the Vedas, Kali Santara Upanishad. It's a Vedic mantra. And this is chanted by all the Acharyas, it's ex accepted by all the great, all the Vaishnavas, they all know Hare Krishna mantra, Vedic mantra. Sometimes people say, don't chant loud. This, this Babu. This, so this Babaji was propagating that we shouldn't chant, just chant in the heart. He was telling like that. But it was Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. He, he revealed, he revealed to them, he told them, no, it's stated in the scriptures that we should chant the holy name. We should chant the holy name. We should chant loudly. And it's stated, Rupa Goswami wrote in the Chaitanya Astakam that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting loudly. Rupa Goswami personally witnessed Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was with him at Ramakali. Then he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again at Triak. And then he met again at J Jagannath Puri, and he was with him also in Vrindavan. So Rupa Goswami had witnessed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how he chanted the holy name. And he was chanting loudly. And Prabhupada taught us, the louder you chant, the more powerful it becomes. So Prabhupada always liked us to chant and when we do proper kirtan, it's pointed out that when you do proper kirtan, then there is also hearing. Because you're chanting, you should also hear what we chant. And when, the, when we do proper chanting, there will be also smaranam. We will also remember Krishna. So all of these processes are there within the chanting of the holy name. Of the... T Chanting of the holy name, of course, there are two processes. We have japa and kirtan. And it's pointed out, the most powerful process is kirtan. The kirtan is even more powerful than japa. Of course, we have to do japa. There was a nice picture on the cover of a Back to Godhead. It was a very, very long time ago, the beginning of our movement. They had a picture. All the devotees were out in the city of Boston in USA. And they were all out there on Kirtan. There's a park in the center of the city of Boston. And all the devotees were out there. All the ladies were in saffron, uh, white, yellow colored saris. And the men were all in their dhotis. And they were, all the men were shaved headed. And they were doing Kirtan. And they were so ecstatic. They, they were so blissful. They showed the picture to Prabhupada. They said, Prabhupada, just look at this picture. And Prabhupada said, oh, very nice, very nice. And, and they said, Prabhupada, how is it like this? That the devotees are so ecstatic. Prabhupada said, yes, this is kirtan. He said, with kirtan, everyone gets a mercy. He said, he said kirtan is like the machine gun. <laughs> Right? Everybody gets a mercy with the machine gun. The, this is, this is Sankirtan movement. So we're bringing our machine guns around Navadweep Dam this week. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants us to go Priti Viti Achi Yat Nogor Odi Gram Sarvotra Prachar Hoibe Moranam so we are fulfilling the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by taking the holy name. We can see here today people, devotees, although lockdown, but still so many devotees from so many countries. China, Russia, 
America, UK, Europe, Africa, everywhere devotees, everywhere. Krishna is everywhere, in everyone's heart. We just have to give the holy name. This is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted us to take up this mission, the Sankirtan. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, there's no safer place in all the 14 worlds. Just chant the holy name. Param Vijayate! Okay, so our next speaker, we'll hear from His Holiness Radha Raman Swami Maharaj. Arriba! Param Puja Radha Raman Swami Maharaj, Ekhi! There is a little question, what do you think of the English translation in English? Do you listen to the Hindi language? Arriba! FM's mother. Arriba! 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 The destroyer of the Vidya, the obstacle. We want to put shelter in the world. By praying to him and helping him to the world, Sri Prabhupada gave us a chance from the Dasapata Stotra, which is from Gita Govinda, written by Jayadeva Goswami. When Prabhupada was very sick, the devotees asked Prabhupada how we could pray to Krishna for his help and for his protection. At that time, Shura Prabhupada told us we could put a picture of Lord Vishnu on the altar and in context also the prayer from the Sutta Bhagavatam. Namaste Narasimhaya Pralabhula Bhattari Hiranya Kasi Purvasaha Jila Ganga So when Lord Chaitanya left Jagannath Puri and he came down to South India, he passed through, uh, first of all, he was in Komachitra and then he came further on down to Vishakapatna. And just near to, to Vishakapatna, there's the Nishinga the temple. What the deity is Nishinga? Simachala. Simachala. So anyway, uh, there's a deity, a famous deity of Lord Nishingadev there, and Lord, Nish uh, Lord Chaitanya went there when he was going into South India, and at that time he also sang the Nishinga Stotra, which we were just singing. So Lord Chaitanya taught us also to worship this uh, Lord Nishingadev, chanting the prayer of Nishinga Stotra. 
Uh, Worship of Lord Nisringadev was introduced to our society after Prabhupada disappeared actually. Although Prabhupada told us to put the picture on the altar and to sing the, the Nisringa Stotra after Arti, we had no Nisringadev deity. The deity of Lord Nisringadev in Mayapur actually came later after Prabhupada's disappearance. It happened that our temple was uh, attacked by some dacoits and it was very serious. They had guns and one devotee, His Holiness Bhagavad Swami, lost his leg at that time when they threw a bomb. So we were, the, the, these dacoits had come with the intention of stealing the deities because they had understood that the deities were of gold, which they're not. They're not gold, they're, they're brass, you know. But they thought they were gold and they would want to steal them. So they just, the devotees met together and they decided it would be good. It would, it would be a help to protect our temple there by bringing Lord Nisringadev there. And they brought the very special form which we have there in Mayapur, which is Ugra Nisringa. So the Shopawala, he was very reluctant to make that uh, show, to make Ugra Nisringa. Uh, it was only the great difficulty that he was great to make that Ugra Nisringa form. So then it's very uncommon that people wish that Ugra Nisringa. Usually they'll have Shanti Nisringa, <laughs> Yoga Nisringa, these different forms of Lord Nisringa. But Ugra Nisringa is very special. And it's been very helpful, certainly protected in my approach. And we hope that in the next coming years we'll move Lord Nisringa into his new home and the temple of the Vedic Trinity. With all of your blessings, it will be possible. Okay, So, okay, so I don't need so many mics. Yeah. Hare Krishna. This uh, deity here, you can see the temple here is nicely maintained. This is by the mercy of our Bhaktivedanta uh, Charity Trust. Yeah, we have a charity trust. Before Prabhupada left the world, he made a will, and in his will, he requested that money would be set aside to help to maintain the different temples around Navadweep Dam. So many of the temples, they were really in disrepair when we began in the 1970s 1970s we began with the parikramas and the temples coming coming out here to these temples they were really in disrepair they were not well cared for but by Prabhupada's charity trust we arranged to give money to help them to develop and to renovate and do better worship. So this is one temple which received a lot of support from our society. This is not an ISKCON temple. And just like uh, also we are at Nishingapali, Nishingapali is not also an ISKCON temple. We did offer to take over the temples, but the local village people didn't want to give up. They wanted to keep the temples themselves. Even they were not doing anything really to maintain, but they didn't want to give the temple to us. So, you know, every year anyway we come here and we, we will camp here. We would camp here before, in the, for several, many years we were camping here. And we pay rent every year. We'd have to pay rent for them because we have usually, you know, seven different parikram groups. We have the two Bengali Namhata parikrama groups. We have a Russian party. We have the Hindi party. We have sometimes the Tamil party sometimes. And we have also international party. So all different groups. And each day we're coming. So for, for one week, each one group will come here every day, different 
you know, so it's, we're paying the rent for these different places and they're, they're happy to get the money. Just like that Nishringapali temple, we went there today, they put a chrome railing around the temple. That is very new. And the marble around there also, that is also recently done. Because we've been popularizing every year coming on the Parikrama, visiting these temples and helping. In a few days we will be going to build Pakur and you'll see the deity of Madangopal, which is a deity worshipped by Nilamba Chakravarti, who was the father of Sachimata. And, and the deity is still being worshipped today by the descendants from the family of Nilamba Chakravarti. The temple is maintained by His Holiness Jaipataka Swami Maharaj. Jaipataka Swami Maharaj told me he maintains three temples in the Dham, actually. So temp some of the temples, you know, they, they need our support. We have helped them a lot. But they don't want to give the temple to us. They don't want it to become ISKCON. They want to keep the temple themselves because gradually more and more money is coming into them, so they're, they're happy. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, this temple, uh, what happened actually a number of years ago was that the, the deity of Harihat was stolen. And it's a very special deity. We don't see many deities like that. We don't see... We, yeah, yeah, it wasn't so big and th there was no proper lock on the door or anything. So thieves came and they stole the deity and the, the, later on the deity was found in the forest. So then the deity was taken to the police station and it was kept in the police station for some time. And during that time Janani Vas Prabhu would go to the police station and Pankajangari and Janani Vas, the twin brothers, they would go to the police station and do puja for Hari Hashi, for the Lord. Yeah, Pankajangari Prabhu who left the body just, uh, just last year, just after Gorpurnima, he departed from the world with COVID. So he was involved, he was in charge of the deity worship in Mayapur. And when Harihar deity was stolen and then later on taken to the police station, he used to come and offer prasadam to the deity. Later on, they got the deity back and they installed the deity in the temple here. And you can see now the temple is renovating quite nicely. A lot of its extension is built around the temple and uh, painted. It's much better. If you'd seen it 20 years ago, you know, it's very different. Srinivas Govinda Prabhu says that the deity was given to Pankajangri Prabhu, was given to the Iskon devotees. But anyway, we put the, de the deity back here in Hariharshitra. So you can see more, more and more the villages, they're becoming really, they're becoming wonderful devotees. I was noticing today how every, the young people were coming out. And they're all, they all chant. You know, so, sometimes I would have to say to them, Bole Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! But when I was walking down the road, they were chanting, Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! <laughs> they were chanting to me. I was really happy to see that. You, know, you can see how they're advancing. You know, we used to chant to them, now they're chanting to us. So it, you can see they're really advancing, the, and some of some of the people, some of the villages are so pious. You can see where they're Hindu people; they're so nice. They all come out. <laughs> yeah, but we have Namhata preaching, of course, going on. A lot of 
people, a lot of energy from Mayapur. The devotees are going around these different villages and cultivating. We have a lot of congregational preachers, a lot of preaching program, a lot of Namhata around this Navadvip Dham. Many, many devotees, very nice people. We used to go to, we would go to Vijanagar, and Vijanagar, in the beginning there was a school, and well, the school is still there, and we used to stay in the school itself. We used to spend the night in the school, and they have a, they have a, at that time the Mayapur devotees had a drama group. Do they still have that drama group? They are the Bengali devotees, they have a drama group. And they do dramas, and they go around the different villages around Bengal, and they put on the dramas. And it, it's a big festival. The whole, the whole area for many miles around, they will all come and attend to see the drama. And they, they really look forward to the devotees coming and being there in the town, in the village. It, it's on, such a nice experience for them. When we did the Parikram first, in the very first year, it was like 1982, I think it was. Prabhupada had left the world, and uh, we made the arrangement that we would stay out overnight. Of course, because of this pandemic situation, we're going back. But usually we stay out. So in the beginning, the first Parikrama, all the GBC came out. Every member on the GBC, they all came out on Parikrama. You know, Jaitajaka Swami Maharaj, of course, and Tamal Krishna Goswami, and, you know, everybody was there, the, the whole GBC. And they had their tents, they each brought, brought their tent. And we had no place, you know, where we, we were taking bath in the Pakors, in the Pakors, in the village, where the villagers take their bath. So we would bathe there. Seventy people from around the world coming to bathe in your pakor. <laughs> you know, it was quite a quite an event. Nowadays, you know, now we have our own land on each of the islands. We purchase land in each island so that every night we can stay on the uh, on an island in the dam. We don't need to go back to Mayapur. And we would stay out, and we had our own land, and we would have a program every night. And the villagers would come wherever we were, just like here at Harihar Shetra, we'd have a program, people would come, we'd give a class, and we'd have arti, of course, and prasadam, and they will all come. They look forward to the devotees coming. So we're trying to develop this parikrama. Bhaktivinoda Thakur desired that we should develop this parikrama more and more. And so by purchasing land and then the, making arrangements so that we can be, a, we can have some kind of uh, accommodation there on the land also. That's also being worked on. Because sometimes it's a bit primitive. You know, here we have a nice lake. You can go and bathe there, and then water there, and swim there. But today, when we were at Nishingapal, the devotees were bathing there also. The water there is very clean. They just emptied that water out a few years ago, and put in new water. This water here is very good. This is very nice big lake here, and it's not polluting. You can bathe there. So, uh, the idea is to get devotees to come and go around the Holy Dham, visit these places, just like Bhakti Ratnakara describes how, uh, how the Lord Chaitanya's servant, what was the name, Lord Chaitanya's servant? Ishan, yes, Ishan. Ishan was the servant in the home of Sachimata, and Ishan brought the devotees with him. He brought Srinivas Acharya, right? On, on Parikrama, and that's described in Bhakti Ratnakar. And then the Navadvip Mahatmya Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he describes how uh, 
Lord Nityananda brought Jiva Goswami on Parikrama round these different islands. Lord Chaitanya would personally come to all of these different islands and he would come with the Sankirtan and they would chant the holy name and they would dance, they would have kirtan in all these different places. We're not very far away from Mayapur. It's only two and a half kilometers back. It's not far. We have to cross the Jalangi, but that's not much. So Lord Chaitanya was coming here regularly, and he's still here because this place is Navadweep Dam, and means the Lord resides here eternally. Yesterday I was telling how Lord Brahma did meditation at the Yoga Peak and how Lord Chaitanya appeared to him long before Lord Chaitanya's appearance. 500 years ago Lord Chaitanya appeared and Lord Chaitanya is still here. He resides here eternally. Do you see him? Any of you see Lord Chaitanya? But why not? You're not qualified. You don't have love. You have not put the frame on your eyes, right? There's only one qualification. Premanjana charita bhakti vilochanina. When your eyes are anointed with frame, then you will see the Lord. Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, he was residing at the yoga peak and he came out one evening and he saw Lord Chaitanya with all the devotees, all the Panchatattva, they were all there with him, chanting the holy name, dancing in ecstasy. The Lord is here, he resides here in this holy dham. This is, remember, this is a very confidential place, Navadvidam. It is not revealed to everyone. It is called Mayapur. Why is it Mayapur, the place of Maya? Because he does, the Lord does not reveal to everyone. Those who have no faith, who are non-believers, he doesn't let them see the glory of the Holy Dham. But those who have faith, those who have love, they can see, they can see the glory of this Holy Land. Remember this Bhakti Purushottam Swami Maharaj was telling us yesterday, who created this Holy Dham? Srimati Radharani, right. Lord Krishna, he is the cause of all causes. Everything comes from him. But this place, Navadvipdam, Mayapur, this is a very special place. This is Srimati Radharani's own creation. Just to keep the Lord happy here in this Mayapur Dham. So we are so fortunate. Try to enter into the mood of the Holy Dham. Don't think this is any ordinary place. Try to understand. This is the spiritual world. Srila Prabhupada Ki Om Magyana Pimarandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Tatsu Shri Chaitanya Mano Stopitam yena bhutale Svayam rupakadamayam dadati swapadantikam Bandeham shri gara shri atapadakamalam Shri gurun vaishnavamscha Shri rupam sakrachatam sahagana raganatan vitam tam sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitamscha 
Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavanishwari Vrishapanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavan Ebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Ghoravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschachadesha Tarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So this evening I have the privilege to present to you something of our activities in the last two days on the Navadvip Parikrama. Hare Krishna. So, today, our Shobhagya, Gautha Dvidin Dhore, Amadar Jha Karjo Kolab Chol Chhe, Shai Vyapare, Navadvip Parikrama Ar Vyapare, Amra Kichu Alachana Kora Shobhagya Amar Hoye Chhe. So, Navadvip Dham is a very, very special, confidential, holy place. Navadvip Dham, Ekti Oti, Gujjo, uh, it, we generally say that Krishna is the cause of everything. In the Brahma Samhita it is said, uh, Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha An Adir Adir Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam that Lord Krishna is the supreme controller and he has an eternal form of bliss and knowledge. He is the origin of all origins and the cause of all causes. Brahma, Brahma Sanghitai, Krishna Vapara Bulechen, Je Krishna Hochen, Adi Purush, Param Purushottam Bhagavan, Ebam Tini Onadi Radi Govinda, Tini Shopkichur Param Karan, Ebam Tini. But Mayapur is a very special place, Navadvip Dham. It's a very special, confidential place, and it's not. It's one thing, with one place, which does not, which is not caused by Lord Krishna, but rather it's caused by His pleasure potency, Srimati Radharani. Because Lord Krishna is a, a playful person and he sometimes he will sometimes be uh, attracted to go and enjoy with other gopis and he, he almost like he's forgetting Srimati Radharani who is his eternal pleasure potency. Krishna Krira Rato Balokan Nay Ebang Tini Onik Shumay Aladalada Gopi Shange Anando Lap Koren Ebang Majamaj Dini Srimati Radharani ke uh, so, 
So on one occasion, Srimati Radharani received the news that Lord Krishna had gone off with another gopi, Viraja gopi, and Srimati Radharani immediately came there to look for him. And hearing that Srimati Radharani was coming there, the Gopi, Viraja Gopi, she transformed herself into a river. And Lord Krishna just simply disappeared from that place. Srimati Radharani asked her, this is Biraja Shokhi Gole Nodi Rup Dharan Kole Nevan Krishna Antar Dhan Hoye Gelen. So then Srimati Radharani thought to herself that if she could create a wonderful place, the most beautiful place, far beyond every other place of this spiritual and material world, then the Lord would never want to leave there. Thakon Srimati Radharani Chinta Kole Nje Tini Jodhi Krishna Jodhi Naiman Akti Sthan and the result of her Srimati Rani, Rani, Radharani's desire was that she created the Navadvip Dam, the nine islands of Navadvip, which are bound by the holy river Ganges. And Lord, when Lord Krishna saw this place, he immediately desired to reside there. So the, div the divine couple, they reside here in Navadvip Dham eternally. Krishna Jakhon, a Navadvip Dham may declin, tini tatkhonak a Navadvip Dham may thakte chailen. Evang tokhon theke Shrimati Radha and Evang Krishna, she jugal, dipo jugal. The name Mayapur is also important to be understood because in Maya is the power to illusion people and this Mayapur place has that power that illusions the, the faithless, the conditioned souls that they cannot understand the holy nature of this divine place. Mayapur Jinam Tiyati Atyanto Tatpar Jupurna Maya Manushke Moho Shomonito Kore Moho Grosto Kore Tole Ebang E Mayapur Hole Amanakti Sthan Jekhane Joro Badira Ebang Sthir Tholo Buddhi Shampurna Bektira Bhagavan Eir Vapare Jante Pare Na Tara Moho Grosto Hoye Pare So Navadvip Dham is created in the form of an eight petal lotus with the center of the lotus representing the ninth island. Nine islands is significant because the bhakti yoga is practiced in nine different angas beginning with hearing and chanting. A noiti di bhutan to gurutu purno karan amra noiti prokriya bhukti shampadan kori tarmande putham prokriya ti holo shrogon. So each of the nine islands represent one of the nine forms of bhakti. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Vishnu, Padanam, Sevanam, Archanam, Dashyam, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedanam. These are the nine different angas of Bhakti Yoga. Hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping, offering prayers, serving the lotus feet, becoming the servant, becoming a friend, and surrendering everything. So, a naughty bhakti ronger mothe roeche, srovan, kirtan, orchon, smaranam, smaranam, padashavanam, vandanam, dasham, 
সক্ষম আত্মনিবেদনম এই নয়টি অঙ্গ রয়েছে ইন দ্য সেন্টার অফ দ্য এইট প্যাটোস ইজ দ্য আইল্যান্ড কলড আন্তর দ্বীপ এবং এই পদ্মের মধ্যবর্তী যে স্থানটি রয়েছে বা নটি দ্বীপের মধ্যবর্তী যে দ্বীপটি রয়েছে সেটি হলো অন্তর্দ্বীপ of all the places in the uni- in the co- in the universe the most sacred place is bharat varsh somosto sthan somoyer moddhe ei bharat varsh holo sobche pobitro sthan and the best place in bharat varsh is gora mandala bhumi ebong bharat varsher moddhe shorboshreshtho sthan holo gora mandala bhumi and the very best place in gora mandala bhumi is navadweep dam এবং গৌরমন্ডল ভূমির মধ্যে সবচেয়ে গুরুত্বপূর্ণ সবচেয়ে পবিত্র স্থানটি হল নবদ্বীপ ধাম এবং অন্তর্দ্বীপের মধ্যবর্তী বা কেন্দ্র স্থানটি হল যোগপীঠ যে স্থানে শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু পাঁচশো বছর পূর্বে আবির্ভূত হয়েছিলেন যদিও শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু পাঁচশো বছর পূর্বে মায়াপুর ধামে আবির্ভূত হয়েছিলেন কিন্তু অনাদি কাল ধরে নিত্য কাল ধরে মহাপ্রভুর দিব্যলীলা with the past times of Shri Pad Ramanu Jacharya. So, we have to go to the same place in Shri Sambhudar Bhaktarajan, Ramanu Charja Jishwab Sthane Lila Kore Chen, Shri Sambhudar Bhaktarajan, Shri Sambhudar Bhaktarajan, Shri Sambhudar Bhaktarajan, Shri Sambhudar Bhaktarajan. The Tirta serves as a bridge to the spiritual realm. Tirta Sthane Shambhu Hala, Chinmoy Dhame Shanghe, Ekti Bridger Moto, Ekti Shetur Moto. But the Dham, is a place where the lord resides eternally in other words it is the spiritual world kintu dham bhinno dham holo shei sthan jekhane bhagwan nitto kal biraj korchen sometimes she would probably bad would be traveling in the western world and then suddenly he would turn to his servant and say let's go back home back to godhead let's go to mayapur সর্বপাত যখন বিদেশে প্রচার করছিলেন মাঝে মাঝে তিনি তার শিষ্যদেরকে বলতেন যে চলো আমরা ভগবত ধামে ফিরে যাই আমরা বাড়িতে ফিরে যাই চলো আমরা মায়াপুর ধামে যাই সো উই ওয়ান্ট এভরি ওয়ান টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য সিগনিফিকেন্স অফ দিস হোলি প্লেস অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ ওয়াই শুল প্রভু ফোজ মায়াপুর এস এ ওয়ার্ল্ড হেড কোয়ার্টার্স ফর দ্য কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস মুভমেন্ট তো আমরা চাই যে সবাই যেন এই মায়াপুর ধামের গুরুত্ব উপলব্ধি করবেন এবং শিল প্রভাত এই কারণে মায়াপুরকে আন্তর্জাতিক কৃষ্ণ ভাবনামৃত সংঘের হেডকোয়ার্টার বা মূল কেন্দ্র স্থান হিসাবে প্রতিষ্ঠা করেছেন
Navadri Dam is the best place in Goramandala Bhumi. And in the center of Navadri Dam is Antardweep. And in Antardweep is the Yoga Peak, the place where Sri Chaitanya manifested his pastimes 500 years ago. And many hundreds of years before that, Lord Brahma had come there to that same place which we call the Yoga Peak, and he had performed some bhajan there. So Lord Brahma was feeling very disturbed in his mind because he take he made a great offense against Lord Krishna by stealing away the cows and the cowherd boys. That's what we generally call the Brahma Vimohan Lila, where Lord Brahma is thinking he wants to see the power of Lord Krishna. And Lord Brahma became completely bewildered when Lord Krishna showed some of his mystic power. And Lord So Lord Brahma had committed an offense by taking away the associates of Lord Krishna, all of the cows and all of his cowherd boyfriends, Lord Krishna had to take their place. And the cows and the cowherd boys, the gopas, they're all very, very dear to Lord Krishna. And it was very sad a very offensive thing on Brahma's part to take everything, everyone away from him. 
কৃষ্ণের অন্তরঙ্গ সখা এবং গোবৎস গাভীদেরকে হরণ করাটা ছিল একটা অতি বিষম অপরাধ এবং কৃষ্ণকে সেই তাদের বিরহ অনুভব করতে হয়েছিল এবং এটা একটা মারাত্মক অপরাধ ছিল So Lord Brahma realized his mistake afterwards and he came to he knew that in the future in his next incarnation Lord Krishna was going to appear in Nadia Brahma tar bhul bujhte perechilen ebong tini jante perechilen je poroborti juge ei bhagwan Nadia te abirbuto haben Therefore Lord Brahma came to that place which we call the Yoga Peeth and he did bhajan there That was like some almost like 5000 years ago when Lord Krishna manifested after Lord Krishna's pastime Brahma came there and he did his bhajan Brahma ei jogopithe eshilen pray 5000 boshor purbe Krishna shonge ei jokhon Brahma vimohan lila holo tokhon tar porei Brahma eshilen ei jogopithe tapasya korar jonno and the result was that the Lord appeared in his most merciful form a shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ebong tar phol holo je parameshwar bhagwan tar sobche korunamoy roop korunamoy avatar shri chaitanya roop dhore shekhane abirbhuto holen and seeing the lord in his form lord brahma offered obeisances and offered prayers to the lord and then prayed to him to forgive him for his offense ebong পরমেশ্বর ভগবানের এই রূপ দর্শন করে ব্রহ্মা তার কাছে ক্ষমা প্রার্থনা করলেন লর্ড ব্রহ্মা এক্সপ্লেইন দ্যাট বিকজ আই অ্যাম দ্য হেড অফ দ্য ইউনিভার্স বিকজ আই অ্যাম দ্য ফার্স্ট পারসন বর্ন ইন দ্য ইউনিভার্স সামটাইমস পিপল থিংক আই অ্যাম দ্য সুপ্রিম কন্ট্রোলার এন্ড আই বিকাম প্রাউড ব্রহ্মা বললেন যে যেহেতু আমি এই সৃষ্টির প্রথম জীব এবং আমি সবকিছু সৃষ্টি করেছি তো আমি মাঝে মাঝে অনেক গর্বিত হয়ে পড়ি যখন লোকে আমাকে সৃষ্টিকর্তা বলে আমাকে ঈশ্বর বলে ডাকে এবং আমার এই অজ্ঞানতার কারণে এবং আমার এই অহংকারের কারণে আমি আপনার চরণে এই অপরাধটা করেছি in your next incarnation when you come here in this world when you appear in nadia kindly give me a birth where i will be humble and i will not have any false ego brahma tokhon bhagwaner kache prarthona korlen je apni jokhon poroborti juge ekhane abirbhuto hoben apnar shei lilay amake ekti oti dino ekti oti binito সেবা দান করবেন একটি বিনীত জন্ম দান করবেন যাতে আমি আপনার সেবা করতে পারি তখন শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু বললেন হ্যাঁ তোমার বাসনা পূর্ণ হবে আমি যখন লীলাবিলাস করতে আসবো তখন তুমি বৈদিক সভ্যতার বা বৈদিক সমাজের বাইরে একটি সমাজে জন্ম নেবে যদিও তুমি বৈদিক সংস্কৃতি নেই এরকম একটি পরিবারে জন্ম লাভ করবে কিন্তু তারপরও তুমি ভক্তদের মধ্যে সর্বশ্রেষ্ঠ হবে এবং প্রত্যেক দিন তিন লক্ষ নাম জপ করবে যেহেতু বৈদিক সংস্কৃতির মধ্যে তোমার জন্ম হবে না তুমি একটি জবন পরিবারে জন্মগ্রহণ করবে সেই কারণে তুমি হবে অত্যন্ত বিনম্র কেউ তোমাকে সম্মান করবে না এবং তারপরে 
ব্রহ্মা সেই হরিদাস ঠাকুর রূপে জন্ম লাভ করলেন এবং তিনি নবদ্বীপ লীলাতে অংশগ্রহণ করলেন Lord Brahma came to take part in the pastimes of Chief Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he chanted the holy name and he achieved spiritual perfection. Tini Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lila angsha gran kollen tini hari naam jab kollen ebang jivaner paramartho lab kollen and he was even able to give up his body in the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. এবং তিনি শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভুর সান্নিধ্যে তার উপস্থিতিতে দেহ ত্যাগ করার সৌভাগ্য লাভ করেছিলেন আমরা দেখি যে হরিদাস ঠাকুরের সমাধি জগন্নাথ পুরীতে রয়েছে হরিদাস ওয়াজ প্লেসড ইন সমাধি বাই শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু পার্সোনালি শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু স্বয়ং হরিদাস ঠাকুরের সমাধি দিয়েছিলেন সো দিস ইজ the result of lord brahma's prayers at the yoga peak there eti holo jogopite brahma ji er je prarthona tari ekti phol yoga means to connect and so it's there that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu connects with the world he comes into this world to perform his pastimes at that place jog kothari ortho holo যেটি সংযোগ প্রদান করে সংযুক্ত করে তো শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু এই জড় জগতে এই স্থানে স্পর্শ করেছিলেন এবং লীলাবিলাস করেছিলেন সেই জন্য এই স্থানটির নাম যোগপীঠ শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু জগন্নাথ মিশ্রা শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু সচিমাতা এবং জগন্নাথ মিশ্রের সন্তান রূপে জন্মগ্রহণ করেছিলেন এবং তার তার আরেকটি বড় ভ্রাতা ছিল বিশ্বরূপ নামে সচিমাতার এর আগের আটটি সন্তান মৃত হয়ে গিয়েছিল তো তারা যেহেতু বাঁচেনি বাকিরা খুব চিন্তাগ্রস্ত হয়েছিলেন এইবারে এই সন্তানটির জন্য so relishable people you know to t- take the name is a bitter taste and so the ladies thought if we give the child the name nimai this will keep yamaraj away to um stri lokera tara ei shishurer naam raklen nimai to nim holo khub teto jeti oto ta sadjukto noy ebong সচিমাতা এবং জগন্নাথ মিশ্রের বাড়িটি ছিল নিম গাছের পাশে তো সেই কারণে সেখানে নিমাই জন্মগ্রহণ করেছিলেন এবং যেহেতু কেউ নিম পছন্দ করেন না তো যমরাজ কখনোই আসবেন না যমরাজকে দূরে রাখার জন্য এই শিশুটির নাম তারা নিমাই রেখেছিল চোদ্দ মাস যাবৎ সচিমাতা তার গর্ভ ধারণ করেছিলেন এবং তারপরেও গর্ভ প্রসব হয়নি সচিমাতার যে পিতা নীলম্বন চক্রবর্তী ছিলেন অত্যন্ত প্রখ্যাত জ্যোতিষবিদ তিনি গ্রহ নক্ষত্র ইত্যাদি অবস্থান দেখে বুঝতে পারলেন অত্যন্ত শুভ মঙ্গলদায়ক কিছু হতে চলছে যে পরমেশ্বর ভগবানই জন্ম লাভ করতে চাইছেন তিনি তার গর্ভে রয়েছেন all the hindu people had gone to the ganga to take bath 
and to chant the holy name এবং নিমায়ের জন্মদিনটি ছিল চন্দ্র গ্রহণ এবং সমস্ত হিন্দু লোকেরা তারা গঙ্গাতে স্নান করতে গিয়েছিল সেই সময় and it said at that time because all the hindu people were chanting the holy name the muslim people were imitating them and joking about them and they were also jokingly and ridiculing them and chanting the holy name jehetu somosto hindura pobitro hari krishna mahamantra jap korchilo hari nam jap korchilo to muslim ra taderke bango korar jonno tarao tader onukoron korchilo tarao hari nam korchilo so this is an indication of the the purpose of the lord in appearing in here in the kali yoga that he has a specific purpose his mission is to establish the yuga dharma as we say the yuga dharma in kali yuga same kirtan shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ekta bishesh uddeshyo sadhaner jonno ei college ge lila bilash korechen sheti holo ei hari namer naam sankirtan prachar kora in chaitanya charitamrita is written that uh, Kali Yuga Dham Hari Nam Sankirtan Krishna Shukti Vininahi Tara Pravartan That the Dharma in the Kali Yuga is Sri Krishna Sankirtan and one who is empowered with the Krishna Shakti then he can propagate the chanting of the Holy Name Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Bornana Roe Che Je Kali Yuga Dharma Hai Nam Sankirtan কৃষ্ণ শক্তি বিনা নহে তার প্রবর্তন যে নাম সংকীর্তন কলে যুগে ধর্ম এবং কৃষ্ণ শক্তি বিনা তার প্রবর্তন অসম্ভব উইদাউট দ্য এমপাওয়ারমেন্ট অফ দ্য কৃষ্ণ শক্তি দেন নোবডি ক্যান স্প্রেড দ্য চ্যান্টিং অফ দ্য হোলি নেম কৃষ্ণের শক্তি ছাড়া কেউ এই হরি নামের মাহাত্ম্য প্রচার করতে পারবেন না শ্রীল প্রভু পাদ গিভস এ एग्जांपल হি সেড জাস্ট লাইক ইউ মে বি ইনভলভড ইন এ লিগাল কেস ইউ মে হ্যাভ টু গো টু কোর্ট so you you may hire a lawyer to represent you maybe you don't want to go to the court personally so you hire a lawyer to go on your behalf shil probad udaharan diyechen je dhorun apni kono mamlay joriye porechen to apni byaktigoto bhabe court e jete pochondo korchen na apni ekjon ainjibi ke apni nijukto kolen apnar hoye case lorar jonno so in the same way Lord Krishna empowers sometimes different devotees with the and we say avesha uh, the avesha the or shakti avesha they are empowered to represent Lord Krishna Krishna kichu kichu uddeshyo sadhaner jonno tini bishesh bhaktoder ke tini shakti pradan koren ei somosto avatar ke bola hoy shakta avesh avatar ba avesh avatar this is described also in chaitanya charitamrita how the lord gives mercy in different ways it is shojonno chaitanya bornana roichi je krishna kibhabe bibhinno prokare kripa vitoran koren there is sakshat where the lord directly delivers the condition souls sakshat bhabe tini kono boddho jigg udhar kore thaken and then there is uh, uh, avesha where one is empowered by the lord to deliver conditioned souls evong tar pore holo avesh shakti je tini kono poddho jib ke bishesh shakti pradan koren and there is a avir bhav manifestation where the lord will appear although he is in some other place so he's not present he will just appear by his own potency evong arekta holo swayam avir bhav prakash je tini onno kothao thakte paren kini tini তার শক্তি বলে তৎক্ষণাৎ সেখানে আবির্ভূত হন শ্রীল কৃষ্ণ দাস কাবিরাজ ডেসক্রাইবস হিজ डिफरेंट পাপ एग्जांपल्स ইন হিজ চৈতন্য চারিতামৃত কৃষ্ণ দাস কবিরাজ গোস্বামী এই চৈতন্য চৈতামৃতে ভগবানের বিভিন্ন আবির্ভাব বা অবতার সম্বন্ধে বিশদ আলোচনা করেছেন অনাদার থিং হুইচ হ্যাপেন্ড হোয়েন লর্ড ব্রহ্মা ওয়াজ মিটিং উইথ লর্ড চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু uh like 5000 years ago at that time lord brahma requested lord krishna that you're coming you're going to come in the kali yuga and deliver the fallen souls but wh- why are you coming to nadia to 5000 years purbe 
ব্রহ্মা কৃষ্ণের কাছে যখন প্রার্থনা করছিলেন তিনি বললেন যে আপনি যদি বদ্ধ জীবকে উদ্ধার করতে আবির্ভূত হবেন তো আপনি কেন নদীয়াতেই আবির্ভূত হবেন তো এখানে এসে বদ্ধ জীবকে উদ্ধার করার জন্য কি কোনো গুজ্য কারণ রয়েছে and this is how we understand antar dwip is named as antar dwip antar is meaning hidden what is actually there hidden in the heart of the lord ebong tar pore amra antar dipper mahatma bujhte pari antar mane holo gobhir ba gujjo karon jeti tar hridaye royeche so at that time lord chaitanya mahaprabhu explained to brahma what was his inner desire সেই সময়ে চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু ব্রহ্মার কাছে তার হৃদয়ের যে গুজ্জ বাসনা ইচ্ছে প্রকট করেছিলেন তিনি যে শুধুমাত্র হরিনামের প্রচার করার জন্যই আবির্ভূত হবেন তাই নয় পাঁচশো বছর পূর্বে নদীয়ায় আবির্ভূত হওয়ার তার আরো গুচ্ছ কারণ রয়েছে আসেন এবং কলি যুগে হরিনাম প্রচার করেন কিন্তু ব্রহ্মার একদিনে তিনি মাত্র একবারই আসেন এবং গুজ্জতম বস্তুটা প্রদান করেন এবং এই পাঁচশো বছর পূর্বে মহাপূর্ব সেই গুজ্জ বস্তুটি দান করেছিলেন এটি হলো রাগ ভক্তি প্রজবাসীদের যে স্বতঃস্ফূর্ত প্রেম রয়েছে কৃষ্ণের প্রতি সেই ভক্তির প্রচারের জন্যই তিনি এসেছিলেন শ্রীচেতন মহাপ্রভু শুধু চাননি যে আমরা শুধু হরিনামে জপ করি আমরা শুধু সাধারণ ভক্তি চর্চা করে যাই তিনি চেয়েছেন আরো উন্নত স্তর আমরা লাভ করি সেটি হল রাগভক্তি বুঝবাসীদের যে কৃষ্ণের প্রতি স্বতঃস্ফূর্ত প্রেম ভক্তি সেটি যেন আমরা লাভ করি এবং বৃন্দাবনের সমস্ত ভক্তগণের মধ্যে সর্বশ্রেষ্ঠ ভক্ত হলেন শ্রীমতী রাধারানী I will come as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and I want to experience that mood of Srimati Radharani. Ebong Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Brahma ke bolechilen je ami nodiyate ashbo ebong ekhane horinam pochar korbo ebong Srimati Radharanir je bhav ongikar kore ami abirbhuto hobo. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu his inner desire is to experience three things first of all the glory of radharani's love for lord krishna shri chaitanya mahaprabhu tinte jinish upalabdhi korar jonno abirbhuto hoyechen prothom ti holo je krishner proti shrimati radharani'r je gobhir prem shetir upalabdhi kora then the second thing is that he wants to experience the special pleasure which Srimati Radharani experiences when she sees all the wonderful qualities which are manifest within the personality of Lord Krishna. এবং দ্বিতীয় উপলব্ধিটি হলো যে কৃষ্ণের সমস্ত অদ্ভুত দিব্য গুণাবলী দর্শন করে শ্রীমতী রাধারানি যে দিব্য আনন্দ লাভ করেন সেই আনন্দের আস্বাদন করা And the third thing the third desire which is there in the heart of the Lord 
he wants to experience that very special happiness which Srimati Radharani experiences when she sees the love which Lord Krishna has for her. The special love which Srimati Radharani uh, sees Lord Krishna when Lord Krishna shows his love for her. Just like in the material world, a woman may have a relationship with a man and she loves a man. But when she sees that the man has also love for her, then she feels even more pleasure. কিন্তু যখন সেই মহিলা দেখেন যে সেই পুরুষটি তার প্রতি প্রেম করছেন তখন তিনি আরো অনেক বেশি আনন্দ লাভ করেন সো দিস ওয়ে শ্রীমতী রাধারান देयर वर दीस थ्री ডিজায়ারস व्हिच লর্ড কৃষ্ণ হ্যাড হি ওয়ান্টেড টু এক্সপেরিয়েন্স দিস হ্যাপিনেস व्हिच শ্রীমতী রাধারানি ওয়াজ এক্সপেরিয়েন্সিং তো শ্রীমতী রাধারানির এই যে তিনটি বিশেষ আনন্দের অভিজ্ঞতা এইটি উপলব্ধি করার জন্য Now Lord Krishna, he is the supreme enjoyer. He wants to enjoy unlimitedly. But he sees that Srimati Radharani, her enjoyment is many, many thousands of times greater than his enjoyment. Sri Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. He 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 is the supreme enjoyer. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes in the mood of a devotee. Not just any devotee, but he wants to cultivate the mood of Srimati Radharani. Sri Karana Koli Juge, Bhagavan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Rupe Abirbhuta Han, Chate Dini Tar Bhaktir Bhapta Ongigar Kore Ashadam Gurta Paran, Jemant Taman Bhakta Nay, Sarva Sushta Bhakta, Srimati Radharani Bhap Janatina Ongigar Gurta Paran. This was explained to Lord Brahma and he was told this is all confidential. Keep it secret. Don't tell anyone. So this is how the island in the center of Navadweep became known as Antardweep. The, the desire which was hidden in the heart of the Lord was revealed there. এবং এই নবদ্বীপের নয়টি দ্বীপের মধ্যে মধ্যবর্তী যে দ্বীপ সেটির নাম এইভাবে হয় অন্তর্দ্বীপ যেটি ভগবানের অন্তরের গভীর বাসনা প্রকাশ করছে গতকাল আমরা যোগপীঠে গিয়েছিলাম এবং সেখানে ক্ষেত্রপাল শিব অবস্থান করছেন এবং যোগপীঠে যাওয়ার আরেকটি উদ্দেশ্য বা কারণ হল যে আমরা শিবজির কাছে প্রার্থনা করি যাতে তিনি আমাদেরকে এই ধামে প্রবেশের অনুমতি প্রদান করেন শিবের অনুমতি বা তার আশীর্বাদ ছাড়া ভগবানের ধামে প্রবেশ করা অসম্ভব এবং ভগবানের দিব্য লীলা সমন্বিত বিভিন্ন স্থান দর্শন করা এবং তার মাহাত্ম উপলব্ধি করা অসম্ভব Lord Shiva, of course, performs many services on behalf of the Supreme Lord. So one of them here is that he is Shitra Pao Shiva. He is the guardian of the Holy Dhamma. And there are many other temples of Lord Shiva 
around the Holy Dam, particularly on the boundaries as we go around the different islands. There are temples of Lord Shiva located on the boundaries so that people entering the Holy Dam they can take permission from Lord Shiva. So traditionally when you perform parikrama, we should follow, the, there's a, a process by which we should go, that after going to the uh, Antadweep and getting permission from Lord Shiva to enter the Holy Dham, then the first island we should go to is Simantadweep. So, Simantadweep represents the process of hearing. We begin our devotional service by hearing. So, Simantadweep However, when we went on Parikrama, that we, we went first of all to Godruma we, we did not, it's not very convenient for us to go to Simantadweep on the first day, and we usually leave Simantadweep for the last day of our Parikrama. So today we went to Godrumadweep. Godrumadweep is a place of chanting. engaged in different types of devotional service, particularly chanting the glories of the Lord. So, Godrumadweep was a place of kirtan, and we passed a number of places, we went first of all by Amgat. There's one train station there. We could all see the railway station Amgat. And just on the other side from the train station, there's a huge number of mango trees planted. And it was there that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exhibited one of his wonderful pastimes. That he planted, he, he was with the devotees doing Sankirtan. And it was a very hot day, and the devotees had been doing Kirtan for a long time. So then, Lord Chaitanya thought it would be nice to feed the devotees some prasadam. So what to give them? So he found one mango seed, one dry mango seed. Lord Chaitanya took that seed, planted it in the ground, 
and immediately in front of everyone's eyes a big mango tree grew up and the tree was very big and covered the whole area. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ekti shubna amer beej nilen ebang tini shetike matite ropon kolen ebang shakule chokhe shamne shekhani shay gashti bere bere ekti boro am gache porinato hole ebang tate am dhullo. In front of everyone's eyes, all the devotees, they saw this tree grow up and, and, and then the leaves and flowers and then fruits began to manifest on the tree many many fruits shokole chokher samne she gach ti boro hoye utlo ebong tara dekhlen je gach tite pata phul ebong onek onek phol toiri hoyeche so the devotees were very delighted they arranged to collect the fruits from the tree and they offered them to the lord and everyone enjoyed the taste of mangoes to bhaktora sei gach theke am parar byabostha korlen she am pere sheti tara bhagwan ke bhog nibedan korlen ebong sei prasad tara shobai maha anande ashadan korlen my spiritual master param puja bhakti vedanta swami prabhu pad used to say that mango is the king of fruits and he was very fond of mangoes amar param pujya gurudev shilobhay charnarobind bhakti vedanta swami shilo prabhupad bolten je am holo somosto phaler raja so similarly lord chaitanya arranged these mangoes that these were very special mangoes the stone practically there was no stone it was all mango pulp and there was only a very very thin skin it was the most relishable the most juicy mango fruit ebong ei am chilo ottonto bishesh ei amer moddhe kono ati ba bij chilo na ebong tar chhola ta chilo khui patla ebong eti chilo shorboshishto gun somponno ebong ottonto sumishto and it said that lord chaitanya came there every day with the devotees and every day they had a mango feast তো শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু এরকম বর্ণনা রয়েছে যে প্রতিদিন ওই স্থানে আসতেন এবং ভক্তদের নিয়ে একটি আমের ভোজ আমের একটি তারা ভোজ সভা করতেন তারা এক বছর ধরে প্রত্যেক দিন ওই গাছ থেকে আম পেরে সবাই প্রসাদ পেত এবং কখনোই ওই আম গাছের আমের কোনো অভাব দেখা দিত না Lord Chaitanya took sanyas after he took sanyas then he was not coming anymore he could not come he was he left this place and at that time the tree disappeared ebong shri chaitanya mahaprabhu jokhon sanyas dharan korlen tini ar oi sthane ashlen na ebong oi sthan theke oi am gach ti antardhit antarito hoychilo we remember Shrila Prabhupada how he liked mangoes so there was one of Shrila Prabhupada's disciples the lady's name one of the very first disciples of Shrila Prabhupada was a young american woman and Prabhupada gave her the name Govinda Devi Dasi Shrila Prabhupada uh, ei amer ottonto pochondo korten ebong Shrila Prabhupada tar andoloner ekdom prothom diker ekjon shishyo shishya chilen একজন আমেরিকান ভদ্র মহিলা তার নাম দিয়েছিলেন তিনি সেই মাতাজির নাম ছিল গোবিন্দ দেবী দাসি সেই মাতাজি এবং তার পতি শ্রীল প্রভুপাদকে প্রচারের সহযোগিতা করছিলেন এবং প্রভুপাদ তাদেরকে বললেন হাওয়াই দ্বীপে গিয়ে প্রচার করতে শ্রীল প্রভুপাদ তাকে পশ্চিম দেশে তুলসী মহারাণীর পূজা শুরুর কৃতিত্ব প্রদান করেছিলেন 
thousand seeds were distributed to temples around the West, around the around the USA and Canada, and the devotees all began to worship Tulsi Devi. So, Tini Tulsi Gaj Ropon Kore Chilen, Evang Bistar Gote Chilen, Tulsi Gaj Chilen, Beach, Tini Canada, Evang America Te Pati Chilen, Evang Shikane, Shab Jagai Tulsi Brick Ropon, Evang Puja Shuru Hoi Chilo. So she was telling, she wrote to Srila Prabhupada that in Hawaii we have very nice mango, Srila Prabhupada. You should come here. You will enjoy. Now is the mango season. Come and enjoy the mangoes. She Madhaji Srila Prabhupada ke amantrum jani chile namang bole chile nje Hawaii te otto sharbat krishna maneer am pao jay. Aapne kane ashun evang am ashadan koran. Every temple would always want to bring Srila Prabhupada to their temple to enjoy his association. Pratek Mandiri Srila Prabhupada ke nimantran kore tadar mandiri niyaste chaito Srila Prabhupada er tikko shannitho lab korar jonno. Just like every temple was longing to get His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj. Jirakom Pratek ta mandiri Sri Sri Mata Pataka Swami Maharaj er shannitho labe chunno taake nimantran janaay. So Govinda Dasi was telling Prabhupada, now is the mango season. Come and enjoy the mangoes, Prabhupada. Govinda Devi Dasi Mataji, Srila Prabhupada ke amantra on chani boli chilen che, akhuni amir season, akhuni amir shumai, apne ashun evang am upabok koram. But Prabhupada told her, I'm going to Russia. Kintu Srila Prabhupada bolen che, ami Rashiya jachchi. He said, preaching in the snow of Russia, is sweeter than the sweetest mango. तीने बोल रहे हैं जो राशि यार बड़ों पेर मध्य प्रचार करा आप सुमिष्ट आमेरचियो अनेक बेशी मिष्टी। So this was Srila Prabhupada's mood. He was not much concerned about the material facilities, but he was thinking about the preaching. ऐटी होलो Srila Prabhupada के मनेर भाव तीने जागोतिक सुजोक सुविधार बैपरे अतो माता का मंत्र ना तीनी सब समय पोचार के गुरुत्व देते हैं। Just like one time, Prabhupada ordered one devotee to that he should go into the Eastern Europe, European countries and distribute Krishna consciousness there. श्री प्रभात एक जन भक्तों के निर्देश दिए चले हैं जैसे जनों पूर्वो यूरोपीय देश के लोग देखिए ऐसे कहने कृष्ण भावना मृत्यु पोचार करें। And this was in the 1970s when the the countries were Closed up the socialism, communism, communism. शेष शेष देश बोलो तो अनेक कम्युनिज्म बा कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी चलती। So the devotee said to Prabhupada, he said, Prabhupada, he said, if I go there, they don't have any, they don't have any vegetables to eat in the winter time. You have to eat meat. तो शेखर ने भक्तों रा बोल चले अंजे प्रोपाद वही देश बुलों दे कोनो शाक्षोप जी पावा जाए ना आपने तो ओखने की आपना के तो मांगशो के दे हो बे। So then प्रभुपद said to they need meat but go there। तो खौन प्रोपाद तक बोल लें जे ठीक आ चे तुम्हें मांगशो के होले हो तुम्हें शेखर ने जाओ। प्रभुपद didn't want devotees to make excuses for not preaching. They, they, he didn't like the idea that they would, they would avoid going to difficult places. So Srila Prabhupada Pachanda Gurtenna Jai Bhaktura Kono Ekti Karun Dekhiye Shikane Jano Jete Na Chai Shikilo Tini Pachanda Gurtenna Toh Tini Sharbo Badha Vipati Shatya Ba Kono Karun Thakilo Shiti Chhapiye Tini Tadar Ke Jete Bolten. So the devotee did go there and he didn't need to eat meat and he, they did very well, they made many devotees. So, he went to the temple and he went to the temple and he went to the temple. 